nice color, everything with your onions, nice flavor. Hey everybody, hey, what's up everybody? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, people? Coming to you live, House of X Entertainment presents It's Me Once the Yes, honey, coming to you now live. What's up, Twitter family? What's up, YouTube family? What's up, Facebook family? And my Instagram peoples, what you guys doing out there? It's Me Once the Yes, honey, it's now live. Hey you guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back everybody. So we are in the kitchen, yes, but it's me, Wansa. Today, we are going to be making chicken tender pasta, guys. So, before we do it, this also has to be marinated for either a day or you can do it for a couple of hours. So we're going to wash our hands for a disclaimer. All right. So we're gonna get going to wash our chicken. Let's do some cold water here. So you're gonna need some chicken breast. Say hello to the chicken. All right, you're gonna need some chicken breast. All right, you see how it looks. Make sure it's nice and washed. The chicken was sitting in some vinegar. All right. Okay, make sure it's nicely washed. Okay, so I may not use all of this chicken breast, so there's a lot of chicken breast. So, alright, we're going to wash out this bowl here. Okay? Let's wash out this. So we're going to put our chicken in here to marinate. All right, guys. So, make sure all of this is empty. All right. So, what we're going to do now is, is we're going to cut this up like chicken tenders. So, you're going to need a nice, good cutting knife. And you're going to cut it like a chicken tender. See? Place it in our bowl here. So you're just gonna slice it really nice, okay? So you wanna make sure that you get the chicken breast that does not have the bone in it. All right, you're just slicing the chicken breast up. Okay. Now, depending on how many servings you're doing is how many, um pieces of chicken you need. So, uh, I don't think I need all, both of them, but I'm going to cut the other one in half and save the rest. Yeah. For another day. All right. Yeah, that should be good. All right. Okay, so now that we have done that, what we're going to do is wash our cutting board off. We're going to wash this off. All right. And we're going to season our chicken. Okay, some adobo seasoning. 
We have some black pepper here. All right. We have some paprika. And we have some garlic powder. Remember, we are marinating this. So when we're getting ready to put it with our pasta, it'll be nice and juicy. And we're going to use a little bit of the chicken bouillon. Okay, just a little bit, about that much. All right. Okay, so before we put in our W sauce, which is the Worcestershire, we're going to cut up, we're going to cut up our onions. So... You don't have to have the purple onion. However, I am using it. So I'm gonna, you do need a white onion. So, all right, so one whole white onion. Okay. All right, so one whole white onion is fine. And it doesn't matter how you cut it, because you're just marinating it. And I will show you guys what we're gonna do with the onions after you take it, take out the chicken out of the um the bowl. Okay. So this is all going to marinate together. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna use some purple onion here. This is just for flavor. Okay. Again, I got onions in my eyes. Jesus. Okay. Now. Okay. Now, we're going to put this W sauce. Oh, sugar. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to put our W sauce. So you want to put maybe about two or three drops. Of the doggy sauce. Okay? Just enough so that it covers all the chicken. Alright? Now what we're going to do is mix this around. So it marinates well. Alright? It marinates very well. Okay? Alright? And then, oh, onions. And then after we do that, we're gonna sit this in the in the refrigerator for a couple of hours, guys. So it's two o'clock now. So we're gonna take it out about four o'clock, guys. Um, so it's two o'clock Eastern time. We're gonna take it up, take it out about four. So that's a couple of hours, guys. All right. So I will see you guys then. Hey, you guys. So we're back with the full process, everybody. So before we begin, of course, you know, we got to wash our hands. All right. Let's wash our hands, everybody. Okay. So now what we're going to do is as you guys can see, our chicken is well marinated. See all that seasoning, the seasonings and everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in this little pot with some olive oil because you want to get that nice brown texture before you put it with your pasta. Now, the pasta that we're using is um, some linguine pasta. I already have my water over here boiling. We're going to just put a little bit of salt in there, not too much. Okay, one second. Just a little bit of salt. So the oil that I have in this pot, guys, hold on, 
is some olive oil. Hold on. Just a little bit of salt. You don't need too much. Oh boy. Okay. All right. So, yes. Yeah. So I'm using extra virgin olive oil. All right. This is the Goya brand, but you don't really have to get the Goya brand. You can get any other brand that you like. So what we're gonna do first is put our chicken tenders in. You want to separate the chicken tenders from the onions because you're still going to use the onion for your, you're going to make a nice little sauce that's going to go on the, on the, on the, put on the pasta. All right, guys? So that's our chicken tenders there. All right. So you're gonna make a nice little, you wanna make sure it's on a low heat. So you're separating the chicken tenders from the onions. So you see how well marinated they are? All right. And I know some of you guys, so make sure, okay. All right. You wanna make sure that you get all your chicken in there or you can just wait until later for the rest of them, okay. There you have it, so it's in there. And then we're gonna put the rest of our um, chicken tenders for later. All right, guys? How's you guys' day going? Hope you guys are having a lovely day. Okay, so our, we're gonna let this cook here. So after our pasta is boiled, what I'm gonna be using is some cooking base, a little bit of red pepper flakes, and some mush garlic. I have here some onion powder, garlic powder, and just a little bit of some adobo seasoning. And we're also going to be using some butter. That's all we're going to be using for flavor for our pasta. That's it. And a little bit of olive oil. That's it. All right, guys. So we're going to let that cook. And then we're going to flip it. Okay. And then we're going to flip it and put in our pasta. All right, okay, this is, this is getting hot. Yeah, so we're just going to boil a little bit and then we'll put in our pasta. So once this gets to boiling, because it smells really nice, so you should start to smell that nice texture here. All right, it smells really good. Yes, so let's um, turn it over. See how it looks, guys? So you wanna make sure that you get the nice, juicy taste of the chicken tender. See, look? Yeah, look at that. in the hot water. Again, this is the greeny pasta. All right. All right. So I'm going to 
gonna get a thong just to mix that around. Okay. So we're gonna let this cook in the hot water, guys, for a couple of seconds. And also let that cook for a couple of seconds. And cook the rest of our chicken in here. Put the rest of our chicken in there. Put the rest of our chicken in the pot and strain off our water for the pasta. And we'll be back. Hey, you guys. So we're back. Okay. So as you guys can see, our chicken is done nice and brown. That's how you want it. Over here, we have our pasta. It's done. So we, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn our fire down just a little bit. And remember our onions that we had? We're going to put them in this pot with the marinated juice to saute. So we want that to get a nice little simmer. All right? We want that to get a nice little simmer. Okay? So this is going to simmer. So you can put your fire on a nice little hot heat. Okay? We're going to add some butter, so you just need like maybe two, two cuts of butter. You can use butter or margarine. I'm going to add a little bit of butter to our pasta over here. Okay. And then, we're going to do one tablespoon of cooking base. And then we're gonna go for the mush garlic. Mush garlic, a tablespoon of that. Okay. All right, so we're gonna let all of this simmer because we're trying to make a nice little sauce to put in over our pasta. All right. So we're going to let this really, really simmer to put over our pasta, guys. Okay? All right, and then we're going to turn up our pasta over here just so that the butter can melt. All right? So you don't want your pasta to stick. So we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of olive oil. So it can loosen. All right. Okay. All right. So just sprinkle whenever your pasta sticks, guys. Just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil, and it will loosen up. Alright. Or any type of oil or butter. Alright. Okay, so because the pasta is supposed to lay flat in the pan like this. And our chicken tenders is gonna go on the top. So this is going to simmer just, just for a second. All right. So we want this to simmer, simmer, simmer. Simmer well. All right. And then we're going to taste it. Change it. Taste very well. All right. Okay. All right. So that's turn your fire down for the pasta as our onions are simmering. 
we're going to toss them into our, as you can see, I'm just cutting the onions with my spoon to make the process just a little bit easier. All right, because you want it to get a nice, good texture when you pour it over into your pasta. Okay. Yes, this tastes lovely, guys. Okay. So once we pour this, so now what we're going to do is just add some olive oil into this. Okay. And then for our pasta, we're going to sprinkle some onion powder, garlic powder, just a little bit of a double seasoning, not too much. Okay. Move this around. All right, just moving around. Again, I am using a thong, so it is wise that you use a thong for your pasta, if you're making pasta. Okay, you can find one in your nearest Dollar General, Dollar Tree, if you have one. Or you can find it at Macy's. Okay, so guys, you see how it's simmering? So, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to, and it's okay if you have the big chunks of onions, because it will melt, it will, um, will melt away as you put it with the pasta. So, we're going to put this over our pasta now. All right. Okay. Now... Just crank up the heat a little bit for your pasta, not too high. We're gonna mix this all together. So this is gonna give your pasta flavor. Oh, sure. It's gonna give your pasta flavor. Okay. All right. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of some red crushed peppers. Not too much because you don't want it hot. Okay. Just a little bit. All right. So let's taste this. Now, what we do is, we put our chicken on top, guys. So your chicken goes on top, whatever juice that you have inside of there, it goes on the top. And what you do, you gradually mix the chicken and the pasta together so that it can get all of that juice. See guys? See how lovely that is? So this is chicken tender pasta. Look at that. See y'all? And it tastes lovely. And it's time to play. Who's ready to eat it? Yes, honey. Okay, guys, so we're going to plate now. Okay. So what you do is all right, let's get a chicken here. See, guys? All right. See how beautiful that looks? And what we're going to do is we're just going to add some parsley for our garnish. Let me show you guys. Hold on. 
touches we just want to sprinkle a little bit of um parsley on the top so you can use fresh parsley chop it up or you can use the parsley that's in the bottle okay so finishing touches you add some parsley and there you go you have chicken tender pasta guys see look nice color Everything with your onions, nice flavor, and pasta on the top, guys. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share this video out. Share this video out. All right? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Tap that notification bell to always be notified each time I upload or go live, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to become a part of the Yes Honeys, join the channel, guys. All right, remember to pray for those that you see and pray for those that you don't see. Love you guys. What's up, Twitter family? What's up, YouTube family? What's up?